Good morning, good morning, good morning, or good afternoon. It's the joy of zoning with me, John Hodgman, on the final day of the Max Fun Drive. You don't need to stand by anymore. Well, let's consider this still the pre show. We're just taking a little walk through our city here. You may notice I'm in a different place than usual. That is because. I am waiting on a shipment of cheese. In one hour, I'm switching over to a different stream. You can find it at the Judge John Hodge YouTube channel. For the Maximum Fun HQ YouTube channel, shooting the breeze, waiting for Godot. Because we're waiting for cheese. There's some cheeses being shipped to me. I don't know if it's going to arrive in time, but Jordan Morris be here and there at 1 p.m. So I'm like, what am I going to do in the meantime? Well, I know I'm going to work on our city. This is no river station. This is a, you'd be surprised. I'm going to rename it because it's, it's no longer just a college town. We also added an amusement park. So I'm calling this town, this town welcome. Excuse me. Welcome. If I can spell to the pleasure gnome. Well, it's too long. For those of you who are just joining us, this is the joy of zoning. This is my occasional, occasional joy of painting style, relaxing sort of television show in which I, John Hodgman, zone out while zoning residential, commercial, and industrial zones in SimCity 2013, a now 11-year-old piece of software. And when we began earlier this week, on Monday, we built up this city over here, which has two rather phallic mega towers, as well as multiple other odes to gendered potency. You can see we have the Empire State Building here, the Big Ben, and if around if we go around here, we might be able to just make out the Eiffel Tower. I'm looking at it here from this other city that we formed, formed, built. That's why it's so blurry over there. Like if I go over, I can go over there. But it'll take some time. See, it's this whole other city over here, which we called Gnomes. That's right, just Gnomes, because it got taken over by these large, large scale garden Gnomes that we put in as tourist attractions. I'll show you one right here. Because then we decided that in this university town, we built this wonderful university. You can see it here. Gnome University. And there's the main university. And then we have it's teaching 2,300 students. The, this is the School of Business. School of Science, a couple of dorms. This is the Quad, School of Law, School of Medicine. And then go up here, of course, is our stadium. No Max Stadium. Should we do a sports event, a rock concert? Motocross, sports event, rock. Let's do a rock concert. See who shows up. But we decided that because there were so many gnomes in the other city that, that this university was going to have been founded by this garden gnome. Closed for the day. And you can just see it right there, gnome. I never saw that sign before. See how close we can get. That's funny. Gnome. Thank you. Any upgrades to the gnomes? Oh, we can add another sign. I wonder 
that sign says. Giant gnome. <laughs> One of the weird things about these giant gnomes that we like to put in, and you know, why not we put in another one? I enjoy them quite a bit. Oh. You can still see this, right? Good. City specialization, culture, attractions. So every now, like when you put in a gnome, initially, you'll notice that his pinwheel is turning and his creepy little hand is waving. But after a while, the pinwheel stops turning, the creepy little hand stops waving. I think it's just a reminder that everything comes to an end, including including the Manx Fun Drive. Hi, I'm John Hodgman. This is the last day of the Max Fun Drive. This is the two weeks of the year when we ask you, the listeners of Judge John Hodgman and other Maximum Fun shows, to consider becoming a member. Not just a, a mere member, but a supporting member. By pledging $5 a month, $10 a month, I don't know, whatever you think the podcast is worth. It's a play, play, pay what you can scenario. And I'm very, very happy and excited that it's been a very thriving Max Fun Drive. Uh, we we went very, very quickly past our 10,000 new and upgrading member goals, thus unlocking Shooting the Breeze, which is happening at 1 p.m. We are now, as a network, whoa, we're at almost, almost 13,600. I have a feeling we're going to hit 15,000 by the end of the day. If you want to continue to pledge, let's say tomorrow or the next day, and get the bonus gifts and the bonus content and everything that you see on offer at MaximumFun.org slash join, you can do that through the weekend. Those are our bonus days. But this is the last day that I personally am going to be streaming and vlogging it. And I'm just going to leave the, I'm going to leave the, uh, the website up. I'm not going to talk about it again. Because we have 49 minutes to build a space center here in the joy of zoning. So let's do it. Let's see who's in the chat real quick. Let's see who's in the chat real quick. A lot of old friends. A lot of new friends. Jealous says hi. Baldy says buongiorno. Thank you, Baldy. Are all the oops? Are if all the giant gnomes are the same size? Are they truly that giant? There are regular sized gnomes in this world, but you can't see them because they're tiny. The wheels turn, turn, turn creepily. That's right. Oh, look at this. Here's someone actually talking about Max Fun Drive. Just subscribed after taking a year off. Best part is being able to customize your Boco feed. Excellent upgrade. Boco, Boco means bonus content, and uh, every every year. Um, often multiple times a year, but I can only speak for Judge John Hodgman at, at the Maximum Fun Drive time. We release a bonus episode, as does every other podcast on the network that is available to members only. And uh, this year we have my 90-minute long conversation with Richard Kind, the actor, as well as um, 30 minutes of me impersonating Tom Waits. Some podcasts, like Stop Podcasting Yourself, release, I think, two bonus episodes a month that you only get if you're a member. So you can pick what you want to hear. And if you are just even at a $5 a month membership, you get access to all that bonus content. Uh, oh, look at this. Holy shit. John Hodgman, I've been thinking about me lately. Glad I stumbled into the stream. Thank you, two kids to feed. Um, holy shit, indeed. Sorry to swear, everybody. I hope I didn't swear in front of your two, two hungry children. I'm speaking, but I'm speaking softly today because I'm in, I'm actually at my home, and uh, someone's trying to make a cake in this room. I'm glad I heard about this Max Fun Drive outside of the podcast because I'm embarrassingly behind due to not having a commute anymore. The WGA strike just started in the eps I'm listening to now. <laughs> Thank you very much for your support. All right, so here we go. Let's 
let's get back into the city we now call Pleasure Gnome. And let's build the space station, not space station, space center that we started building the other day that I thought I was going to have to put off. And in the meantime, I'm waiting for some cheese to arrive. Let's see if I can, uh, well, I can't, I can't share it with you, but I'll show you later at one o'clock. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. So this gnome no longer waves. This gnome is waving away. I don't want two gnomes here. Let's get rid of that one. And let's see if we can reboot this giant gnome. And then we're going to have to get some resources going. So let's put in a new giant gnome, see if we can get this one. What are we talking about? Overlapping. He was just there. What are we? What are, what are we even doing here? A glitch in the system. What if I get rid of this urban green space? Will it be able to fit then? This is really something, everybody. There. Now I can put it in. There we go. Yeah. And thus spins the wheel once more on this, the final Friday of Max Fun Drive 2024. So what am I, oh, the other thing is that we decided to lay this city out in honor of the gnome. So if you can quite make it out, the, the university here is the gnome's head. This is the gnome's little hat. This is the pinwheel over here. And that's his little waving hand over here. And there's the university and the stadium. And then over here underneath the pinwheel is Thrill Land Adventure Park with the roller coaster. This is our transportation hub. But what we need to do now is take a look at our region. So as I mentioned, Here's our original city. And here's our great works area. This is where we're building the space center. And we need lots and lots of fuel and alloy and computers, which means we need to start importing that stuff and manufacturing that stuff. And to do that, I'm gonna claim, guess what, a third city. Third city, just to get, well, do I really need a third city? I mean, I've got a lot of room over here in Pleasure Gnome where I can be importing stuff. So let's, let's do it that way. Rather than, let's go back to our existing city because it takes time to load these cities and we have a lot of room over here. You see right here for trade. I want to make sure we've got all the money in the world and we've got all of the profit in the world, and that's because I'm cheating. I'm playing in sandbox mode. I want to make sure that I have everything. I want to make sure that I have all cheats enabled so that we're not um, dealing with anything other than fun right now. 2013 cheats. I want to toggle off crime, fire, health, pollution, anything sewage, anything that's going to cause me trouble. So uh, fire, obviously, it's, it's, uh, alt F. Does that work? Let's see, it should give me a little uh, fire enabled. All right, so fire is no, don't do that. Somehow I've gotten into full screen mode here and I don't like it. How do I get out of exit full screen? Thank you. So what we need to do is we need to start importing those things that, what was it, gasoline, computers and alloy. And that, that means trade. So, I want a trade port. And I need the trade. This 
this building here. Does it, does it look different? Have I made it? No, it looks the same to you. It just looks different to me. Somehow I've done something weird here. All right. What did I do? Doesn't matter. I can't seem to access my... All right, gang. I apologize. I need to quit SimCity and relaunch. I did something I did something wrong. So let's talk to each other. Oh, Llama's in the chat, reminding you to join MaximumFun.org slash join. Let me relaunch SimCity because I, I messed up my screen. I went into full screen mode and I couldn't access my bulldozer. It was a real mess. But trust me, this is going to work now. same thing. It's, it's come back it's the same way to me. Oh no, this is a real mess, everybody. That's okay. The point of the joy of zoning is not to freak out. Let me see here. SimCity 13. Exit full screen mode. Control F. All right. Let's see if that works. Control, control F. Ah, there we go. Perfect. We're back on. We're back on now. Let me share the screen. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your patience, everybody. Yes, Jesse, you're really watching me play some city. There we go. There we go. All right, so when last we spoke, I was gonna destroy this academy, like so. I might rebuild it. I'm gonna destroy this amphitheater too, don't need it. What I need is a trade center so that I can port quickly all of the computers and gas and alloy I need to build that space center. So we go to our trade tab and we put in a trade port. Now, if I put a trade port in here, will that allow me to add a freight rail terminal? Is it too far away or is it just right? It looks like it's just right. I can definitely do a freight rail terminal. Just like that. That's good. And I can also add vertical lift and takeoff. This will allow people to try I want to what I want to do is be able to get as much stuff coming into my trade port as possible so if you look a little bit closer you can see we have these VTOL pads so heavy lifters can come in and drop stuff off and we have uh, uh, what did we call this so it's a trade port for the railroad. It's a choo-choo trade port. That's all, I, that's all I can say. I guess I didn't need to destroy that academy after all. But I do need to put in massive amounts of warehouses. So we definitely need alloy. And we definitely need computers. And we definitely need... Do we need gas? I think that's what we needed, right? put it in. And 
we're going to start importing these things quickly. And we're going to speed things up a little. Let's take another look at the region again. Let's take a look at that. The spaceport, the space center. Fuel alloy computers. I was right. That's what I need. So let's go on back. We're starting to get some alloy. Starting to get some fuel. How much do we need? More than that, I think, right? I didn't even bother to look. 170,000 barrels, 1,400 tons, 40,000 crates. Okay, so I'm glad that we destroyed that academy because we got a lot more, we need a lot more trade ports because the most, we need 14, we need seven, and I don't remember how many tons. Can someone put make a note of this? It's hard for me to remember. Let's make sure. Do I have any other? Well, I can add. Yeah, I can add more. All right, so I can put in more computers. All right. I can put in more fuel. All right, that's the limit on that one. Someone says, do we need delivery trucks these these trucks deliver materials they don't from the trade port to the cities i'm just hoarding i do not want to sell anything i just want to hoard it i want to fill these up you see what i mean and i might as well go ahead and add another one Yeah, I'm not going to build mega towers, Johnny Hart at. Sorry. I am going to build roads. I don't need streetcars going over there, but I'll take a high high density avenue. And I'm going to put in another trade port. What I'm just doing is amassing these, it's a, it's, a, it's a race against the clock. I'm just amassing computers, fuel, and alloy. You know, GFA, exactly everything you need for a happy life. I'm just amassing computers, fuel, and alloy. So that I can launch that spaceship in honor of the end of the Max Fun Drive. Thank you. Alloy. GFA. Computers fuel alloy. Never leave Vaz without them. GFA. Where's my alloy? There it is. Another alloy. Another one. I think we need a lot of alloy, don't we? I think we need, like, yeah, like th thousands of tons. So I'm just doing alloy in that one. Now, you can see, oh, there goes the vertical, yeah. This is already filling up very nicely here. Oh, we gotta manage market deliveries, of course. Import, 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 okay. And we can add more vertical lift and takeoff deals here. It doesn't matter the money that we're spending because I have I have unlimited money because I'm cheating. Good. And can I put another one in? Let's take a look at our region now.
1,400 tons of blah, 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 okay. And it doesn't look like I'm, s am I automatically sending it? I've never built a great work before. I really don't know what I'm doing. Is Kate Littleton in here? I don't know, but Twitch just gifted my girlfriend Sarah and her dog Porkchop a Max Fun membership as an early birthday gift. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah and Porkchop and Twitch, please. Hmm. Sign up to contribute. I don't want to stop. No, I want to start sending resources. But yes, you're right. We do need those delivery. We need those extra delivery trucks to donate those resources, don't we? Good point, everybody. Thank you. Let's go back over here. Let's get some delivery trucks going. Get these. Oops. We need trucks, y'all. Maxing out these trucks. So now, presumably, those trucks will get... Let's speed it up a little bit, please. Yeah. Same up here. to stream more often. I just don't know if I can do it, but I'll try. Now, is this working? I don't have my... Oh, there goes a v VTLO. VT Hang on a second. I'm going to go in and show you this little guy. slow. Leaving the city, carrying 1,000 crates of computers. Where are you going? Heavy list computer VTOL. I guess off to deliver it to the Art Space Center. It looks like it's working. Let's check. Okay, we're getting there. So far, some computers are being delivered and everything else. But uh, it's, fuel is not really getting over there very quickly. What's happening? feel like we now need to be producing even more, you know, or importing even more. I need a, another trade, another trade uh, situation. So do I have room to put one in, another trade depot or a trade port? That's what we're trying to say here. That's less than ideal, right? Because Here, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, the problem here is no. This is in my way. 
Don't worry, I'm gonna put that back. Now I have room to put a full trade board in here. There we go. And I'm going to alloy computers, please. Thank you. Fuel. Thank you. More computers. And more fuel. And we're going to add some lifts and delivery trucks. Just trying to get this done as quickly as possible. We have 25 minutes to launch the space shuttle. There we go. More delivery trucks. Got to move this stuff out. You know, I'm just gonna move it out. Any other space? All right. I guess it's gonna be 10 delivery trucks. That's all I got. And let's manage local deliveries. We're gonna be importing computers. Importing alloy, importing gas. And now we've got three going. They're all kitted out as best as I can. I could probably do more, probably do more. But I can definitely add now, add back in the, what do we call it? Freight rail terminal, thank you. Rail terminal there, and we can add freight rail terminals for all of them. And then one more. That'll bring stuff in and get it out faster. And then high quantities. it up and see what happens. <laughs> I do read the chat when I can. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Well, we have a private space company. Well, this space center has been funded entirely by gnomes. So I think it would have to be Astronome. Slowly increasing the max fund pledge dollar a drive till I'm close enough to bump up to the $35 level. Thank you very much, Jedi Monkey. It would be helpful to go Cheetah Speed. Thank you very much. And we are now at Cheetah Speed. Okay. Now we can see a lot. A lot's happening here, right? You see, this, we are just in... All these little blue dots you're seeing, we're just tracking trade. Delivery trucks, vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, uh, freight trains, you see? Here come these freight trains, they're unloading stuff. We can chart, like we're, we're getting lots and lots of crates of computers, we're getting lots and lots of crates of fuel, alloys coming in slowly, trickling in. It's all happening. So if we now look over to our space center, it's just phase one of two. We're almost done with computers, right? So now that I know that we're almost done with computers, we're very far off when it comes to alloy. We need much more alloys. So I'm gonna go back. We need alloy and plenty of it. So that one we have one alloy. This one we have, yeah. 
this one we have, I think, two computer computer lots. So we're going to get rid of one. And we're going to get rid of that one too. That's oh, alloy. Let's add more alloy. Freight. Can I add alloy in there? No. <gasps> Not enough simoleons. Holy moly, I forgot. I need money and plenty of it. I forgot how to, I gotta cheat, cheat, and cheat again. There we go. Here we go. Into the millions, please. Thank you. I guess space centers are pretty expensive. done with computers. So I got to get rid of all those computer lots and replace them with alloy lots. Or do I? Anyway, alloy and fuel lots. We're really doing a speed run here. So let's, let's look at it from this angle, shall we? I hope everything's going okay in the rest of the city. What's happening? Anything bad? No, everything's great. So we no longer need computer lots, right? We need alloy and fuel. So what's this? Alloy, alloy, alloy. Computer, we don't need that. Get out of here, computer. Computers, alloy and fuel. This one. Alloy, computer, don't need you. Get out of there. We don't need that one either. We do need more alloy. Just gotta keep pumping up my pumping up my budget. Keep cheating. Twelve forty-two, one p.m. Switching over to shooting the breeze. You can watch it exactly wherever you're watching this. It'll just be a different stream. this phase one of two <laughs> you know phase one of two what's phase two gonna be will I get it done before 1 p.m. or will it just be too late does anyone know will anyone in the chat go do a search and let me know what I should be preparing for phase two so that we can jumpstart it everyone can hear me right I'm worried phase two is the gnome's plan. Who knows what it's going to be? Thank you. 
I'm glad you can hear me. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, while this is happening, I'm going to go ahead and destroy some abandoned buildings. value, eh? Well, I didn't realize there were so many buildings being abandoned here. Got to clear that rubble away. I mean, all I, all I can do right now is wait until I find out what phase two is. Look, Minneapolis Mike, you're funny, but I really need to know. What do I need to prepare for phase two? I only have 15 minutes here. Go online and look it up and tell me when I should be stockpiling for phase two. A lot of workers. Ugh. Okay, we're almost, we're, well, we're gonna find out in a minute. I think what we need for phase two uh, maybe I can only do one great work at a time. All right, sounds to me like we need a lot of workers, right? Okay, oh, we did it. Oh, not yet. Okay, so. Where are we? Where is our trade area? We still need gas. So one thing we don't need anymore is alloy. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna sell off the alloy that we have. Okay, same here. I'm gonna export alloy. Okay, good. What we do need is fuel. In fact, what I'm gonna do is get rid of these alloy lots. And add fuel. How happy everybody is. 74% approval rating. Pretty good. Pretty good for an old guy. <clears throat> Stacy really came into the chat with some real knowledge here. Yeah, we might have to come back. I don't know if we're gonna get the Space Center done in the next 12 minutes. I mean, where are we? I can't even look at it. We're 4,000, 4,000 uh, barrels away from completion of phase one and 12 minutes away from shooting the breeze. Let's watch it happen. Here comes more gas. Watch it coming in full. We're done. Phase one is done. So what do I do? Workers are constructing from the materials. 
how do I get workers over there? That is the big question, trust me. Yeah, I am waiting on some cheese. When we do Shooting the Breeze in 11 minutes, it'll just be a new stream, but it's gonna happen exactly wherever you are. So if you're on Twitch, if you're on YouTube, Judge John Hodgman, John Hodgman YouTube, Maximum Fun YouTube, Twitter, wherever you're watching this, that's where Shooting the Breeze will be. But I gotta tell you something. How do I get, we need three, 300 workers? How do we get them over there? I mean, I got a lot of workers. Let me turn all of this stuff off. hoarding those materials but we do need workers and we need them now can I build and zone in the spaceport I don't think I can uh, oh here gnomes needs high wealth workers improve my residential land value and workers will produce to gnomes that's not that's not of interest to me can I gift workers? No, I can't. All right, I think this requires some research. I set my game speed to high, might fix it after a while. But Stacy Mitchell calls getting workers to the Space Center the big bug. I've added all the transit that I can. Hmm. Well, I mean, I could, I could definitely build a mega tower over here. You know? I mean, I don't need these trade, trade deals anymore. So why not, why not put a couple of mega towers in here, you know? At least one. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. than to put another one in right next door or down here right next door right, down here. right next door there we go I wish there were a third one I could put in bug everybody the space center isn't actually connected to the road for workers to get in on all maps but I know that there it is down there look at that wild big white elephant of a project 
There are definitely, you can see that there are definitely cars. Excuse me. Well, I don't know. Yeah, what about balloons? I do, I have workers. I've got I've got a fairly large population. I've got 37,000 people. All I need is 300 of them to quit their jobs and go work at the Space Center. I mean, it seems very attractive over there, right? Hmm. My first great work foiled but in many ways isn't that part of what part of what all city planning is all about it's 1254 it's the joy of zoning I guess I have no choice but to return I guess I have no choice but to learn and return yeah dark pit rivers please volunteer we need 300 people just like you Yes, it's just time for me to learn and return to the joy of zoning, but now it's time for me to start the new stream, Shooting the Breeze with Jordan Morris and John Hodgman. This is our annual cheese-themed stream a podcast in previous years. This year, a stream? Why not? I will let you know. I will return sometime next week to do more Joy of Zoning. Because I got the bug. I got bit by the municipal planning bug. The gnomes got to me. We're going to build those mega towers. We're going to build that space center. And we're going to have a good time. But there's more good times to come thanks to you and all the members of MaxFun. Hashtag MaxFunDrive officially ends this evening, though you can still become a member throughout the weekend and get all of the benefits of membership. And <clears throat> what are the be benefits of membership? Well, you can see all the reward gifts and the bonus content, all the details over at MaximumFun.org slash join. But also there's a simple reward of knowing that you're supporting the podcast and its creators that you like. So thank you very much for your kind attention. Let's take a little, just a little walk through. I'm gonna just a little two minute walk through. I guess I'll build a couple more levels of this, of these mega towers, right? Why not? Another apartment level, thank you. And another one, please, over here. So we've, been, we've almost, And I don't know whether they need low wealth workers or high wealth workers over there. I guess probably some high wealth workers too, right? Because they probably need some educated workers. Well, let's see. Let's see what our city looks like. I hope some of these buses are taking workers over to the Space Center. There's some double-decker buses. Pardon me. Let's take a walk down the road. pocket of giant gnome. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> I apologize. All in the pocket of giant gnome. Okay. I'm going to end this one and start the next one. Uh, and I'm going to cough in the meantime. See you later.